Okay, 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 okay. Now let's talk about the 2024 Paris Olympics USA men's and women's three-on-three basketball team. But before we get started, I want to thank y'all for tuning in to the Gertie Mac Show and taking y'all time to uh, subscribe to the channel, liking and sharing my videos. I really appreciate all that. Now let's go. So let's just jump right into this. So this right here is the men's USA three on three basketball team. Now I just gotta be honest people. This whole picture look like an L. It don't look like it's a W in this picture. I don't know who is responsible with the selection committee who picked these guys. No disrespect to their game or whatever. But this is the Olympics. The whole goal is to go get a gold medal. And the whole goal is to pick the best players. Now, I know this three-on-three -three is new to the Olympics this time. And maybe it was kind of hard for them to judge on who to pick and how people qualify. But these guys right here do not seem to be getting the job done. So they lost the other day against Serbia. They lost the other day and was talking big smack and all that kind of stuff. So after that loss, whoever's running the social media page for the USA Basketball 3 on 3, they said this before the game today against Poland. Don't get it twisted. The 3 on 3 men's national team is not just happy to be in the Olympics this go around. The team has eyes on the Paris 2024 gold medal. Well, I don't know what gold they got their eyes set on, but it definitely can't be the medal. It must be 14 karat gold necklace or something at a jewelry store, but it ain't the gold that's over there in, in the, for the Paris Olympics. Because today, they lost against Poland. 19 to 17. Like, the men's and the women's team is over there in Paris getting smoked like a turkey leg. I mean, and I'm talking about the three on three. I, I mean, I don't know what's going on with them over there. They, they are, the men's are 0 and 2. 0 and 2. And we can't have that at all, period. Now, here's the thing that's funny. So, just a few minutes into the game, Who's ever running the social media page had posted this. USA in the driver's seat so far. This is like six minutes and 45 seconds left in the game. And they play 10 minutes. They up 75, only about two points. <laughs> what driver's seat were you in? Clearly, y'all must crash the car because the driver's seat clearly was taken over by um, Poland and they got the victory. Stop posting on social media until y'all get a W. Because all this pre-posting, doing this, because they even posted somebody having a comeback. It's crazy. But then, I mean, it don't stop there. You're sitting up here losing to a whole bunch of guys that look like Mr. Bean. Like, come on, guys. You're supposed to be the USA. You're supposed to be stronger. You're supposed to be better. But I understand everybody can lose. But y'all supposed to be representing USA over there. The USA Women's National Basketball Team is winning. And the USA Men's National Basketball Team is winning. But then, here we are with the USA Women's 3-on-3 three -three Basketball Team. And they lost again today as well to Australia. And you know who's on the Australia team, right? Christy Wallace. She is teammates with Caitlin Clark on In There in a Fever. But they lost the day 20 to 17. This is their second loss. Second loss. So the USA men's three on three uh, men's and women basketball team for the Paris Olympics are both 0 and 2. And I want to say they got like four or five games left. So I don't, I'm not sure how this works, but I don't know if they can get the gold medal. At least some miracle happened, like whip. But they got to get this together because this right here is kind of embarrassing. I mean, it really is. You, I mean, come on, people, pick it up. It's three on three basketball. Y'all supposed to be the best of the best. Maybe the selection committee is going to have to think about 
were about the um, USA 3-on-3 women's team should be consisted of former WNBA players. You know, not no antiques. I'm talking about like, you know, former. You know, not too far old, but just enough. Like, for example, down to Rossi say she is done this year with the Olympics. But maybe she can come back and just play three on three. You know, it's not that much. It's not up and down the court, full court. It's just half court. And then for the men's, they can use former w, I mean, NBA players. Why is no one using the guys that play in Ice Cube League, the big three? They play three on three. Those are all former NBA players. Now, I hear something about you got to qualify and all this kind of stuff, but maybe they need to rethink that because if y'all going to go over there and continue to lose like this, then this right here, mm -mm. if it doesn't fit, must have quit. But y'all get in the comments there what y'all think. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like and share this video. Also, hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I drop another video and follow my social media at GertieMac15. Holla.